Hi, today let's discuss about the uh, layer properties. So what is the use of layer properties and what is the application in CAD we are going to discuss. So if you see a uh, industrial diagram, so how they use the layer properties is, so they used to create a various set of uh, line and uh, color codes. So example like furnitures and format or doors or dimensions or any column identification so they use a different color and also different types of uh, lines they use it so today we will be seeing about this part how to use it so let's go back to our uh, diagram with the initial setting is done so go to the layer properties so you can create a set of uh, layer properties as seen in the screen so I have taken a basically a center line and also I have taken a wall so this is our layer 1 so you can create a, a n number of layers so click on new so you can give a name suitable name so i'm giving a name called door so i'm going to change the color of this as a, let's take a orange now what is the type of lines you need if you click on the type of line you can load the different set of lines so what are the color the center line dash line border lines you need you can select the types of lines from here so let's go for solid one so clicking ok the same way I have done for center line so for center line I have choose a type of line as a center line so long line and small dash lines will be followed so same way we can click on it you can see the center line option here so right so like this we can create a set of lines and go back now so let's go back to the diagram again so when you make a sketch so initially I'm taking a layer one so I'm going to make a simple line. So we are making a simple line over here. Okay. So now I want to make a midpoint of this sub sketch. So I can go for a center line. Now select the line option, polyline. You can go for a center line. So if you see the sketch, you can see the center line will be available. The so same way, if you want to make some sketch like this. So you can get a sketch so now i can change the layer properties as well okay so i can go for offset so select that and now you can completely change this part as solid lines so select this you can change as layer so now you can see that a wall completely made like this so like this we can make a changes in our set of diagrams so what are the diagrams you have you can easily change the colors so similarly if you want to make a door so for door you can click on the doors select a small option so i'm going to just draw a simple door here so now you can see the door has been drawn so now if you select this only the doors will be selected so similarly we, we can make n number of doors so i'm just creating a, one more and one more here so here I, another one more door is collected so i want to select all this kind of doors only so you can have a select similar so you have an option called a select similars so select similar so all the doors will be selected so like this we can do a simple selection in layer properties and then what we can do is go to the layer properties you have various option called on freeze lock plot color so on is when you want to make a, a visibility of that layer you can click on on so it will get turned off so the layer will not be visible now so you can see that door has been invisible because it has been turned off so right so click on it on again so you get back the doors so freeze is nothing but you want to change initially to some other layer so now i'm going to freeze that particular portion of doors so i can freeze that option so when I freeze it, again it goes invisibility. So same way, we can also turn up with lock. So we can check the lock will be available. So you can see the lock symbol will come. So you can't delete or you can't erase this object because it has been locked. So you want to delete this door again. So go back to the layer properties, unlock this option. And then you can able to delete that option. So this is how the layer properties will be helpful in AutoCAD for various diagrams. Thank you.